now this is the plan let's look at the solution to the front elevation let's draw the front elevation of this plan the front elevation the first step to take is to draw your ground line good now i've done my ground level now from the plan here is the dimension 12400 is the length of this edge to this edge here if those, these are front side this is where we have our lobby and the main door as we can see here is the door so now we'll go take our measurement and put on the ground level now immediately you are done drawing your ground level indicate it with gl this ground level on both sides ground level then measure your 12.4 Because I'm using millimeter, as I'm saying, 12.4. In if I'm to use millimeter, I will say 124. So that's my 12.4. So I haven't done that. We are to now look at the plan again and check for the number of walls that exist on this plan now. We are looking at the edges where we can see edges that's now we have this word here we have this word here one two three four so we are going to indicate it with a continuous vertical line now from this word to this word we have three thousand first of all let me draw the, the first end to the other end it's not advisable to drag your ruler on the paper to have a clean work don't drag after that check the distance between each each wall now from this wall to this wall we have 3025 so that's we're going to use three is it three then you put your wall now the walls we are doing are the walls that we can see the vertical edge with the next one we will draw now is this one here not this because this is a flat surface so now this is five thousand six hundred and fifty and this is one thousand seven hundred five so we had it up to take the next wall line so if we had it up to seven thousand three hundred seventy five which we can approximate to be seven point four or seventy four Here we go. This is 7.4. So put our wall again. Lift up your ruler whenever you want to draw anything. So don't drag it on your paper to have a clean wall. We we'll go to our specification to look at our lobby and the floor level. From the floor specification, it said. Finish floor is still 50 above ground level. You know, these are ground level. Finish floor is what? 350 above ground level. Now, we are going to be showing that and these are lobby side because be able to see through our lobby the finished floor. Good. We've marked out our floor, finished floor level. Let's mark out our lobby side our lobby which is 5650 which 5.6 good so now you know we've marked out our finished floor level then we'll look at our lobby floor what are we given we're told that floor level i mean from our lobby the lobby is open with two square columns 222 by 222 then the height is 2750 floor floor 200 lower than the main building floor so as you can see our main building floor which is 350 above the ground level so now below it is where we have our lobby floor 
is 200 above lower so from four measure to good these are lobby floor good these are lobby floor then aside that we have the column is 2.2 so we're going to use 2 so we're going to use 2 is our column at the center of 5 6 is 28 where we have the second we have the second column second column I'll put a okay zero point two. So now on this part we have a uh, one edge of the column. Then the other side. Return is to column. Good. Here to here is the column. Here to here is the column. It's two side. We have two lobby side where the door is, and the other part where we have a window. So now, okay, the two column, this and this, which is. No, this is dimension, this is dimension. So now, next is to take the height of the column. The height of the column is 2750. So, so we can use 2.8. 8 now let's draw our flow our flow our finished flow it is a finished flow is 350 above the run level so now after this we put our beam we also like Clean off this edge to, to put an hack so to make it a curve edge to indicate our beam. So now to do that, we're going to use the principle of tangency of two line. So I'm going to draw one to this side, one then. one then put a faint line to use for the other part good so one centimeter good you know this side too one Good. So let me erase. Good. This let me do that also to this other part. We also still measure. So do that to this side. One. Okay. 
too. So go we'll trace this my line back. But, so that is that for this lobby and the uh, beam with my finish flow i haven't done this i'm not gonna move to my windows and door but nevertheless from the specification also we have 3.1 as our the finish flow to the ceiling is 3100 so from this finish flow now which is 350 above the ground level we're going to measure 3.1 above to draw our ceiling Now I want to draw my window and door. Now we should know that the window and the door they are always aligning at the top side to each other. So and door height from specification is two thousand one hundred. That's door height. So I'm going to like from the finished floor measure two point one to the top. So here's two point one. Then I will now draw a faint line. Good. So to understand my height. Now let's erase this one that we use in drawing our arc. So done that. Now the next is to draw our window. Now how do we know that we are drawing window there so you now look at the front of the plan what are the things you can see at the front of the plan you can see window here you can see window here and we can see a door here you know this part is an open space for the lobby and we can also see a window here so we will now input this this window at this side so from here look at the center this part Uh, at the center you know, and what's in our specification check your specification what's the dimension for the window from our specification the dimension for the window so i'm going to put the specification on the screen and it's just that it's not that clear so you go strain your hand i but for the one i've written out it's clear so now the window we are having 1200 for double window why for single window we have 600 